So this is a tutorial on how to access the ligatures and alternative characters in the typefaces that are part of that that bundle. The first thing you need to worry about is you need to use a software that supports open type files. So any of the Adobe software will work. If you're not sure if your software does support open type files, that's just a quick Google baby. That being said, I'm an Adobe Illustrator and I'm going to show you how it's done in the Adobe softwares. So I go up here to window and we need to open under type the glyphs panel. Now what the glyphs panel does is it gives you access to all the glyphs that are available in any given typeface. You can see as I go to the different typefaces the glyphs panel changes. So for example, in Yay, we have a couple different ligatures that we can use here. So let's say I want to replace the with the, the ligature. I simply click that here when the is highlighted and it's replaced with the ligature. Let's see what we got on vowels here. I know that I have a double O ligature and I believe I have an LE ligature as well. Boom. Look at that the coolest thing ever. Now with Agarty, it's a little bit different. There aren't ligatures necessarily, but there are catchwords. A couple words that are common, that are fun to use, that will stand out if you hit it with a catchword. For example, with that new crap, I'm gonna highlight new, boom, and you can see that it fits in with the cap height and baseline of the rest of the text. So that's that new crap. And last but not least, we have Mostest Mono. So Mostest Mono comes in seven different weights, but instead of having seven different typefaces all in one and having to scroll through the different glyphs panel, this one is a little bit different. So I'm gonna dock this glyphs panel and show you how to use Mostest Mono. Boom. I just docked the glyphs panel right under the character panel, so it's always there to use. So, for Mostus Mono, what I'm going to do is I'm going to highlight the letters that I want to change. And once they're highlighted, I go to my character panel here, and then I can change the width. So, let's say I'll do that 1000, and I'll do that one. Boom. Now, what I like to do is I like to make these two lines match. So, I'm going to change this A to be a bit wider. Boom, and there you have it. So, I'm gonna call that, that, and that is how you access all of the ligatures and bonus glyphs in the That That Bundle typeface. That's a lot of that's, but you got it.